Hey there, it's Brittany. Happy almost Halloween. Remember this? Remember this? We're going to be making a necklace today using a beautiful piece from Maku Raku. Um, I am so excited. I totally wanted to use this and I'm going to. I'm loving the look with some gold and black check. So I think we're going to make it hang from this flower. Um, I got these a long time ago from, T I think, Tracy, Tracy's Distache. And don't they just look fantastic with that eyeball? And I brought out some Jack Picasso melons. Oh, actually, those might be luster instead of Picasso. Don't know if we'll use these. I got these in that beat gallery buyout a few months ago. Thought they, they looked good. And then clearly I was in a check glass mood because I didn't really get anything else out besides check glass. Um, I did get these stones, but the more I look at them, the less I want to use them. But maybe I'll use them here and there because they kind of are reminiscent of that raku look that she used um i got out these really fun drops from Anne marie that she sent me i just don't know how i want to use them but they're like it they were like perfectly dead on for those eyeballs so i think we'll we'll incorporate two of those Ooh, let's see i couldn't even think to put it above the flower let's see maybe that's a bit much but you know the 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 eyeballs of him <laughs> maybe we'll just well we might just use two of those and then what else did i get out oh i got some um of these like brass spacers these are from the bead chest and then i got these in tucson last year maybe so i was thinking maybe these gold beads and then i got out some gold snake beads so we're just gonna we're gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it. I have, I had some gold wire. I was trying to think, do I wanna use gold wire or do I wanna use, um, I have the wire still out from Sam's Bead Shop video. So I have some of this gold wire and I have some of this. I think maybe we'll use, um, maybe we'll use this wire. We're gonna end up stringing the rest of the necklace, but I wanted to make my pendant bigger. I actually don't know if this will fit through my flower. That might decide for us. Oh, uh, yeah, it does a little bit. And it kind of goes with the bail that's already on my skull. So I'm gonna slip that on. Did a little loop-de-loop -loop and I'm just gonna wire wrap that closed. Ooh, it's kind of a messy start there. My goodness. Yuck. It's because this is 20 gauge and I'm used to doing this with 22, so it's a little harder. I promise I know what I'm doing, I'm just not very well today. <laughs> so, okay, so we've got that done. I'm gonna wrap it around just one, a little bit more to get that towards the back of the skull. Okay. Trim that. Ooh, I don't really wanna do this. I just wanna see what it looks like. It's actually quite fun. So chunky though. So chunky. I think I'm okay with just the flower because I really love how the flower looks with this flower. Um, I'm gonna put, I don't think I have any of my, I don't have any bead caps out here. Maybe I'll just put a snake bead. We'll see. I'm not going into this with any expectations. So this is truly a bead with me and not um, a real tutorial. I mean, you're gonna learn things, but no, I don't like that. Um, 
I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Sometimes I get comments where people are complaining, like you should, you should write out everything that you're doing beforehand, and you should plan out your project, and you should be know where you're going. I'm like, you, you must be new here. No, we don't do that on this channel. <laughs> so this one's a bead with me. We're figuring it out as we go. Um, wire wrapping the, the mess out of the top of this because I want it to be messy, and because it just fits right. So we're gonna move our, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I just ignore those comments or say thanks for watching because, you know, people like what they like, right? All right, so there's our, oh my gosh, it's so cool. I just like wish, it, well, I guess it kind of is socially acceptable to just pin stuff to yourself, but I, I don't think I'm that kind of person. Like I would just pin this to myself and walk around with it because I like it so much. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and pick out a pattern for this. I want this to be super simple because honestly, the not super simple in that like we're, we're using really crazy beads, but um, simple in, like design wise, because I want to be able to see this, like this pendant to be um, the focal. And I want it to lay on my chest, like above where my shirt line would be, because you can see it better that way. I don't want it to be a really long necklace. So the necklace itself is going to have to be a pretty short to be able to do that for most of my shirts. All right. Um, let's see. I want, I definitely absolutely need to use these crazy beads. They're huge, but I need to get some of them in there. Oh my gosh, I love them. And then maybe these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Loving that because it's like almost exactly opposite like on these they have the band of the rainbow metallic and then these the band is black and then the rainbow metallic is here. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It's just so fun like the way that beads come together. I've had these for a couple, maybe like almost even two years, maybe a year, two years, but these are just a couple months. So I just love how a plan comes together. My goodness. Right, I'm going to get any of this Jasper in here. I just feel like I don't need the Jasper. I don't know. I like it. I think it's just too busy with all the busyness that we already have going on. So I'm going to say I'm going to veto it. And then I want to get some gold in here. I think, I think I'll put those on either side. Oh, I don't know. I don't like it every bead. Have these. Maybe we'll just. I think I like the organic look of these a little bit better than just my seed beads, and I think these are just too chunky for me. I'm in a weird mood. So let's let's go with these then. I need an assistant, somebody who just loves cleaning up beads. <laughs> because I'm just I this kitchen table. I cleaned it. I, I spend like a, a, a couple of hours cleaning and then it's just, it's back exactly where it was. I'm just gonna start stringing. I'm gonna put on, uh, I'm gonna dump out more of these. One of these on and then one metal bead. So I'm gonna do two of these turbines I can't believe I'm using this many turbines in one necklace, but I really want that effect. And then one of these large rondelles, and then two turbines, large rondel. Isn't that so fun and fancy? Just as fancy as our pendant. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, I'm gonna just string that um, and then I'll be back when 
it's time new to do favorite that. necklace alert i did end up using some of these brass beads on the back of the necklace because i didn't want to use up all my turbine turbines and i just didn't really like how the the this wasn't the same like feel so i just went with the brass beads you're not going to be able to see them for the most part um and then i ended up hanging uh one of these crystals on here <laughs> and i just love it it makes it it just gives it a little pop on the side i don't i didn't want it on both sides but i just i had to get one of those in because it just looks so great with these beads and um the the eyeballs like it's just the coolest the coolest thing ever so i'm just going to use i just had a gold um, toggle near me and I have some crimp tubes or at least I did okay and then I'm just gonna take my crimping pliers you know what I'm gonna put on one of these tiny beads at the back just so my crimp doesn't potentially go through the larger hole in the other brass beads because we know we've gotten gotten to that point at some point during one of my recent necklaces and it frustrated me um, okay so I'm gonna go through my loop here you can use a jump ring I'm just gonna go right onto my toggle come back down just through a couple beads and oh, <laughs> helps if you come back down through the crimp though you're not gonna be really getting a good crimp if you try what I just did all right come back through All right, and then we will go ahead and put that in our crimping pliers and squish, turn 90 degrees, squish, and turn again. And now um, I'm gonna move everything down towards that crimp, making sure there's no uh, gap or there aren't any gaps in between any of these beads but also leaving it in this um, loosey-goosey formation. So we're not stringing in a total straight line. Come back through our crimp, another crimp here. And then my toggle. Ooh, I don't think I put on, no I didn't. A little absent-minded today. All right, stick it through one of the beads and then I'm gonna grab the end and my toggle and pull and that's gonna align everything we need to be aligned where it needs to be. Making sure, double check, we wanna make sure there aren't any gaps between our beads. And we will crimp. Squish. Turn 90 degrees, squish again. And then we'll cut our wires, trim them I should say. And here is our Halloween necklace that I'm probably not just gonna wear on Halloween. <laughs> And it is shorter than I typically go, but I really wanted this pendant to be the standout. And I'm just, so, I just, okay, there's just so much going on. Like this flower echoes this flower, our dangle echoes the eyeballs, and then the finish on these beads are flipped. I love that. I love that this finish ties in this and the eyeballs. It's just, there's so much going on here. I tied the gold from the flower into the back. So I'm, I'm pleased as punch. Thanks to Mac from Makuraku because I wouldn't have been able to pull this off without 
her beautiful pendant. I will put the information to her site below. Please give her some love. She's got some beautiful, beautiful pieces. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Happy Halloween. Bye-bye. Stay tuned for Goldie. Say happy Halloween, my little taco dog. Can you stand up? Oh, there you go. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Taco Goldie. Hi. Hi, sweetie. You've been in that taco suit for quite a while. <laughs> Hi. Happy Halloween.